Right friends, welcome back to News at a Glance for 14th week. First one is World Health Day was observed on 7th April. Every year we celebrate 7th April as the World Health Day and you may ask what is the significance of World Health Day. The significance of World Health Day is in the year 1948 on this day World Health Organization was established. And please don't forget, World Health Organization has released its first ever global report on diabetes and the most worrying fact is the incidence of diabetes increased from around 4.7 percent of the population to 8.5 percent of the world population. So, this is the alarming raise over the past 34 or 35 years. The theme for 2016 is halt the rise beat diabetes. Lot of uh, emphasis is being given for controlling diabetes and in the world China ranks number one in diabetes followed by India. 28 year old Nazimuddin Samad, a secular blogger was hacked to death by radical Islamist militants in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Last year, four secular bloggers and a publisher were hacked to death by radical Islamists in the country and in Bangladesh basically, Bangladesh liberation war took place in 1971. Several atrocities were committed in that year and subsequently, after a gap of around 39 years, in the year around 2010, Bangladesh government constituted crimes tribunal and several persons of jamaat e islami are being sentenced to either life imprisonment or death penalty and this infuriated islamist groups and hence the murder of secular bloggers is taking place in recent times and don't forget bangladesh official language is bengali religion is islam but the political doctrine is secularism. These things do not forget when you look at Bangladesh. G20 summit, G20 is the group of 8 developed countries, 11 developing countries and the European Union. In G20 group, 19 are countries and 20th one is European Union which acts as a block. So, this G20 countries is the amalgamation of developed and developing countries including European Union and next summit is going to be held in Chinese city of Hangzhou and it is the 11th G20 meeting and is planned in September 2016 and here China asked the participating countries to provide lists of possible terror groups and terrorists who may try to disrupt the event. Look at the next one, a bronze bust of ancient Indian mathematician and astronomer Aryabhata, who is not only mathematician, but also famous astronomer and his bronze bust was unveiled at UNESCO and do not forget UNESCO headquarters is Paris and established on November 16, 1945 and it was unveiled by our Minister for Human Resource Development Smriti Irani and she also attended a international conference on Jiro and you may ask who is the sculptor of the bust that is Ram Sutar and a special session by famous mathematician professor Manjul Bhargava was also held on mathematics in Indian music. T hub that is a Telangana based hub signed a memorandum of understanding with S bank India's fifth largest private sector bank in order to set up a world class center of excellence for financial technology related startups in T hub. T hub is located in Hyderabad. Look into the next one three day northeast Asian business summit was held in Imphal and basically the focus of the summit is integration of northeast region with asian countries and india has got a long border with the myanmar four states have got border arunachal pradesh nagaland manipur mizoram four northeastern states have got border with myanmar and myanmar is a part of the asian countries basically with the integration of northeast with asian countries then India will be immensely benefited and do not forget IMT corridor is international highway which connects India with Thailand through Myanmar. The construction of IMT trilateral highway is going on. 
Look into the next one. In 2015-16, total tax collections stood at 14.6 lakh crores of rupees and it exceeded the revised target of 14.55 lakh crores of rupees and government could able to achieve this target prominently because of higher excise duty collections on petroleum products as the rates of petroleum products reduced drastically in the world market instead of passing on the benefit to the consumer government resorted to excise duty imposition several times and don't forget government gets revenue through direct taxes and indirect taxes direct taxes is monitored by central board of direct taxes and indirect taxes are collected by central board of excise and customs both are under department of revenue ministry of finance government of india from 1st april 2016 third party motor insurance premium increased by around 40% you may ask what is third party motor premium because if someone is driving the car if some person walking on the road injured in the accident he is the third party or otherwise if two vehicles are into collision other vehicle which is involved in collision is reckoned to as third party right so this third party motor insurance premium increased by around 40% from 1st april 2016 400 years of discrimination against women ended on 8th april when women entered the inner sanctum sanctorum of shani shinganapur temple in maharashtra based on bombay high court order women entered the inner sanctum sanctorum of this shani shinganapur temple and this temple symbolizes lord shani dev the personification of planet saturn look into the next one gatiman express india's the fastest and first semi high speed train was inaugurated between hazrat nizamuddin and agra and it runs at a maximum permissible speed of 160 kmh and covers 200 kilometers in 1 hour 40 minutes or you can say 100 minutes if you want more about it please listen to lecture part iisc bangalore stood first in the best of indian university rankings and these were conducted in india for the first time by national institutional ranking framework or nirf and here total six categories are there out of six categories only rankings were given for four categories of universities management engineering and pharmacy and rankings were not given in architecture and colleges category and best university is iisc bangalore best management institute is iim bangalore best engineering institute is iit madras and best pharmacy college is manipal college of pharmaceutical sciences manipal and the methodology taken by the nirf came in for severe criticism after the announcement of these rankings 53rd edition of national maritime day was celebrated on 5th april what is the significance of 5th april because in the year 1919 on april 5th the first ship from india traveled to united kingdom and this day to commemorate that event we celebrate as national maritime day and india started celebrating this from 1964 and don't forget india has got 12 major ports which are under the ministry of shipping at the same time india has got one of the longest coastlines that is 7516 kilometers of coastline madhukar gupta committee was constituted by the union ministry of home affairs to suggest ways to tighten security along india pakistan border and if someone asks about madhukar gupta committee it is basically to suggest ways to increase the security along india pakistan border five time world chess champion viswanathan anand all of you are familiar with viswanathan anand was conferred with the hridayanath mangeshkar award hridayanath mangeshkar is the brother of famous singers lata mangeshkar asha bhonsle and this award was instituted in 2011 and cash prize is rupees 2 lakhs Hashim Thasi became the new president of Kosovo and Kosovo declared independence in the year 2008 from Serbia it is a partially recognized state some of the countries recognize Kosovo as an independent country and some do not recognize and anyhow this country is in southeastern europe please look into this 
researchers in USA developed the world's smallest nano scale diode. What is meant by diode? The diode allows electricity only in one direction and it blocks in another direction. So, researchers in USA developed the world's smallest nano scale diode and this will have far reaching consequences in developing molecular electronic devices in future. Scientists have constructed a theoretical model of the DNA molecule inside the electric circuit to better understand the results of the experiment. Veteran journalist and famous author Yogendra Bali credited with famous books Chandrasekhar, a political biography, Pavan Chambling, Daring to be Different, the author of these books Yogendra Bali, veteran journalist, died at the age of 86. The country's first metrinopod project, that is the personal rapid transit project. This is personal rapid transit project and this basically consists of small automated vehicles running at close intervals on a guideway with the docking stations and you can say it will act as personal rapid transit network. People can hire this and can move from one place to other place and this will come up in 13 kilometers stretch from the Delhi Gurgaon border to Badshapur Modim Sohna road. So basically this will come up in Haryana. Union Human Resource Development Ministry launched ISBN portal. You may ask what is ISBN? ISBN is 13 digit unique international publishers identification number and this international standard book number portal will facilitate publishers and authors to register for allotment of ISBN online. So, each book will have its unique number that is a 13 digit unique international publishers identification number and from now onwards publishers and authors can register online. Famous nuclear scientist and first project director of Madras Atomic Power Station M. H. P. Rao passed away at the age of 88 and M. H. P. Rao was considered as the brain behind Madras Atomic Power Station. Asian Nations Cup Chess Championships were held in Abu Dhabi. Indian men's won the championship whereas women's championship has gone to China and India defeated Vietnam in the final round by 3-1 score. Retired Chief Justice of Sikkim High Court Parmuth Kohli was sworn in as Chairman of Central Administrative Tribunal or popularly known as the CAT. He succeeded Justice Syed Rafat Alam and you may ask what is CAT? CAT is Central Administrative Tribunal to look at the compliance with regard to service conditions of employees and Article 323A in the constitution facilitates establishment of CAT. Right friends, East Coast Railway Zone became the largest freight loading railway zone in the country. Freight loading East Coast Railway Zone loaded around 173 million tons. In 2015-16, Indian Railways has got 16 railway zones. Out of 16 railway zones, Bhuvaneshwar headquartered East Coast Railway Zone became number one in freight loading. It loaded 173.49 million tons and do not forget there are 16 railway zones in the country and this railway zone extends to Odisha predominantly followed by North Coastal Andhra Pradesh and parts of Chhattisgarh region. And iron ore from the world famous Bailadilla iron ore mines in Chhattisgarh are being served by this railway. Right? Third phase of Mission Indra Dhanush began in 216 districts of the country. You may ask what is Mission Indra Dhanush? It is the vaccination program started. Basically, vaccination in our country is at around 65 percent. The government's goal is to take it to 90 percent in five years. That means every year the percentage of vaccination is to be increased by 5 percent. With that in view, Mission Indra Dhanush was launched and do not forget initially there were 7 vaccines and 4 vaccines were subsequently added partially in some districts of the country. So, Mission Indra Dhanush constitutes 11 vaccines altogether. 
former Indian Army Chief General retired J. J. Singh was conferred with the prestigious Officer of the Legion of Honor, the highest French civilian award and he also played a pivotal role in taking interoperability between Indian and French forces to the highest level and do not forget J. J. Singh was also former Governor of Arunachal Pradesh during 2008 to 2013. The Telangana government unveiled a new information and communication technology policy or popularly ICT policy along with four other policies in order to support innovation, gaming and animation, rural tech centers and growth of electronics. Right? Under this policy, Telangana seeks to attract 3 billion dollars in investments and creation of about 1.6 lakh jobs. The government has proposed that ATMs should not be replenished with the money after 8 pm and government also proposed cash fans should be fitted with the CCTVs and GPS and must not carry more than rupees 5 crore per trip. Basically, attacks on cash vans increased in recent times. So, as to avoid, so as to reduce the incidence of attacks on cash vans, government proposed these regulations. A federal judge in United States of America granted final approval to an estimated $20 billion settlement over 2010 BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. And the deep water origin oil spill began on 20th April 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico and this is the largest accidental marine oil spill with a total discharge of 4.9 million barrels. BP is British Petroleum headquartered in London, UK and now the court ordered 20 billion dollars settlement because of the lapse of this British Petroleum in the year 2010 in the Gulf of Mexico. According to Amnesty International's death penalty report, you may ask, where is Amnesty International? It is founded by Peter Benenson in the year 1961. It is based in London, UK and, and there is 54 percent increase in executions in 2015 over the previous year and at least 60, 34 people were executed by 25 countries in 2015 and as per the report, most executions took place in China, but the records are not available because China is not accessible for information in some fields. Right friends, with this let us conclude the news at a glance, join for other modules, have a nice day, thank you.